if she need me Fuckin' with me, it ain't easy I put my new bitch in Yeezy I got a zip, very important in Ville Fuckin' with me, it's a rip And it's a rap Ridin' around with a gang Glocky, I ain't got a Mac I been in the trap I don't even know how to rap I'm just ballin' this hood wrist slap Brought us a strap Nah, no, ain't nothing to play G. But we in this bitch we got a guest. We got our number one fucking damn near number one supporter. Right now, he's the number one supporter. This man finna have a one-on-one -on -one merch. Don't hold me to that. Damn, I shouldn't have said shit. My bad. Fuck. <laughs> but he gonna have one-on-one -on -one merch. You know what I'm saying? We got Breezy. Say what's good. Yo, everybody. We got Denzel. We in here. Yo, what's good, everybody? And we got Terrell. Yo. <laughs> we gonna get into some very special topics for y'all today, man. But first of all, y'all boys, tell me how y'all feeling, man. What's going on? Go ahead, Denzel. Kick it off, man. You <laughs> good, you know what I'm saying? Good good week. Good life. You know? More life. More life, man. High on life. Okay. I mean, I guess, bro. I'm chilling, bro. A little, oh, a little hell, tired. Bro. A little tired today. You know, I'm the, I'm, I'd be the main one with the fucking energy. Me and Rob be the main two in the, with energy in this bitch. Let me have my, my down, my downtime. You know what I'm saying? But we chilling, we chilling, we chilling. Life's great. I can't complain. Uh, I, sound, I don't sound like how you feel, King, but you got it. Shut your ass up. Okay. Okay. And then All we right, got the, baby. we got the, we got the, okay, go ahead, go ahead. I was about to say, we got the big blood rod, but go ahead. <laughs> Slot. Hey, man, you know my brand. You know how I'm rocking. I'm all, I always got some fucking Nike on. You feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna try my best not to knock this desk over though. I got too much energy, which I shouldn't have because I went to bed at like in the morning. The fuck? I went to bed after bedtime. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I was only asleep for like two hours. So yeah, after wake up time. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I might. I might crash soon. To be honest, yeah. I don't know. It's gonna. It's probably gonna hit me hard tonight. Pause. Pause. But oh, uh, Breezy, how, <laughs> Breezy, how you feeling, bro? Man, I feel honored. I'm here. Yo, invited me. I've been asking Toro every day at work when when he let me in the podcast, bro. I've been waiting. Not here. Hey, man. Don't disappoint because it'll be your first and last. Let me stop. He's pulling Hold your leg, leg, bro. Let me stop. Let me stop. You know, stop. you know this man's humor. He's just pulling your leg. Oh my god! Damn, Kobe. I know. I've been hearing it all day at work. Oh shit! Damn, oh, yeah. you be cooking hey. at work, bro. <laughs> I did. I be cooking at work, yeah. All right, Sometimes. I know as Terrell got some. Go as ahead. Late, no. As of late, I haven't been. As of late, I haven't been um cooking at work. I've been chilling. Cause Terrell be having some demons. Like he'll he'll go demon. like a while. It's like it's like a an addiction for him. You know what I'm saying? Like he'll refrain from some shit for a while. Then one day he'll just be like, you know, I feel like I feel like saying some shit. I feel like causing havoc. And then he'll just start roasting. I don't know. Or no. throw some shade. He'll throw some shade. He'll like throw out some bait and see if you bite. And if you do it, he'll he'll really start tugging and reeling on that shit. You know what I'm saying? And just keep, you know what I mean? I mean he'll keep egging on. But the guys that's one of my favorite seen, things about Terrell. The guys haven't seen me in a minute. I've been uh on a hiatus for good for good reason though. I mean, if you know, you know. Nobody know, nobody in this bitch knows. But anyways, um, what we got? What we got today, man? Hey, TikTok ban, TikTok fucking ban. We had the um they had the case or the hearing, I guess. Motherfuckers are grilling the fuck out of the CEO of TikTok. Talking about, um, really, this man, I'm, I'm not going to lie, the TikTok CEO was like, he had answers for everything. Like, this man was prepared for this shit. But, like, the the fucking, uh, I'm laughing because I seen this fucking TikTok of the of some, some hearing that was happening. And this lady was, like, asking this one guy, she was like, do I have the mic? Do I have the mic? And he was like, you do? I was like, bro, there's no way. I got to send y'all that shit. That shit was funny as fuck. But anyways, the guy, the TikTok CEO, was super prepared with all his answers. But it's looking like TikTok might get fucking banned. But the Congress people in there were just stupid. There was one that, like, he knew what he was talking about. Everyone else was just old as fuck and, like, had, like, zero input on what TikTok is. Like, motherfuckers are talking about all I see are kids on my TikTok for you page. And it's like. I see your kids dancing. It's like, thank you for telling us what you like on TikTok because your For You page is just whatever you like. If you like a certain, like, if I like a bunch of gaming stuff on TikTok, my For You page would be nothing but gaming shit. If I like a lot of music shit, my For You page would be a lot of music shit. So if you've seen a lot of kids dancing, 
on TikTok, that means you're liking a bunch of videos of kids dancing on TikTok. That's how the algorithm works. That's how it builds your For You page is whatever you like. So a bunch of people were in there talking about, oh, yeah, I see kids dancing. I see this and that. It's like, so what you liking on TikTok? But all in all, like, it does have, like, I think the where they keep, I think the, the whole reason why TikTok is getting banned is because American data is being kept on a uh, Chinese land so that the Chinese government can just infiltrate it, look at it, whatever, access it at whatever point because it's on their land. Now, the TikTok CEO introduced like Project Texas, which is moving all that data, all the American data into Texas and having like Americans watch over it and all that. But I don't know. It's looking like TikTok will get banned and then motherfuckers are like, yeah, if it gets banned, I'll just use a VPN. And it's like, they know you're using a VPN. Like, what the fuck? Yo, that's going to get clapped. They'll send your ass to jail. <laughs> 20 years, I think, is the minimum. And like a 200K uh, bond or some shit. Yeah. That's dead. Yeah. Get clipped if you want to. Fucking around on TikTok. It's hey, man. If TikTok, if TikTok is banned, YouTube shorts it is, man. If I'm YouTube short, if I'm YouTube or Instagram... I'm looking at this band like, okay, we coming up. Yeah. <laughs> we coming come up. Come over to the Instagram. Come over to the... Yeah. Actually, come over to the YouTube. Facts. Yeah, our YouTube is jumping. I'm not even going to hold y'all. That shit is jumping. Facts. Me and Denzel, Denzel made a point the other night. <laughs> he was like, when we hit that 5K subs, that backlog is going to go crazy. Oh, yeah. That is. shit going to be wild. So he said it's going to be like One Piece. He said 600 <laughs> episodes. Fuck, nigga, watch them. <laughs> <laughs> shit had me roll. <laughs> You should have your own, bro. Dead, bro. They really gonna be scrolling and just be like, "Damn, these motherfuckers really were funny for a long ass time." It's just the quality that changed, the editing styles that changed. But for real, yeah, I feel like we like I feel like I learned something new every time I'm in a, a editing session. Like I find like a new skill, or, like a new shortcut, or a new something. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't even be meaning to do this shit. Like I figured out the other night how to do some um some screen shake. Well, I did it in the, uh, the backrooms video, but like I did it for the subscribe shit. Mm-hmm. Like you know how like back in the day when we had DVD players, like the shit would bounce like in the corner and then move like that. Yeah. I did something like that, but it was like a pinball effect. So it was fast and then it slows down and mm-hmm. then it fades away. I was like, okay, I kind of snap with that shit. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, hey man, YouTube it is. That's that's where the heart of the content is. You know, you can still listen to stuff. You can still check out the Google and the. The uh the Apple and the uh Spotify. You can still check out them shits, but <laughs> I Rod Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> Chill, do not be co- do not compare me to that man. <laughs> For real. Pill Cosby, stop playing. Yeah, that is dead. But yeah, bro. I mean, it is what it is. We we gotta we got an Instagram, we got a whole YouTube. We're not gonna we're not gonna suffer from that. It's not like we making all of our bread on TikTok or some shit. You know what I'm saying? So and TikTok is probably like the worst platform to get paid from. Like their uh, their what's it called? Uh, creator funds. Them shit mm-hmm. suck. Motherfuckers yeah. would be having like twenty million fucking likes and views and get like two hundred dollars. Like damn. Yeah. <laughs> I heard people saying they were like, "There's no fucking money on TikTok." I heard this girl saying that, and I was like, "Oh, well, yeah." She said that like a year ago. It's good for traffic though, but the same yeah. traffic is on YouTube. So right. It's like, YouTube will right. get you that bread, get you that rent yeah. money and everything else you need. Facts. Facts. Motherfuckers got McLarens and Aston Martins off of fucking YouTube checks. Like, yep. Wait, wait till we get ours. Hey, man. It's just an easier platform in general, bro. Like I, yeah. I love, I love using it. Sometimes like the editing is just, is just so hard. But whenever I have a vision for some shit, I just want to put it out there. I it's, just want. It's hard. I just want YouTube to like YouTube Shorts to be like over a minute because sometimes i'll be having over a minute and I, f- I have to sit here and cut some shit make it under a minute and even if it's 59 seconds it'll just round it up to a minute i'm like bruh come on now yeah come on now but anyways yes. back to the tiktok band <laughs> do you think like is it that big of a deal to you guys if chinese the chinese government has access to our data well, in some cases, yes. Uh, I'm not sure how uh, specific I could be with this, just because like I don't really know too much about like data mining and um, like what they can do with it, like how they mm-hmm. can use it against us. Other than just seeing like 
where uh, like where like which networks are most pow- powerful and like just like seeing like little shit like that um i don't know how much military intel a fucking social media app with a bunch of dumb shit is going to give you you know what i mean yeah so to me because i don't specialize in any of that it's not that dangerous like i, I don't it's not that that much of a a, a threat mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying or not a threat a liability so it doesn't it doesn't bother me if tiktok is gone or if they're data mining but like still it just sounds bad that like people are spying and they're using your data against you like there's mm-hmm. a possibility that they could so they're probably going to find a way to do it but i mean i guess that's just what it is like we're not the government they could have other reasons for doing it but and but this reason makes sense that's probably why trump tried to get a ban to begin with and then people say it does have a detrimental effect on a lot of people's health because a lot of people that use it are like i said before weak you know what i'm saying weak minded <laughs> nah for real they're weak minded people have addictive mindsets and their personalities and um it's easy to get sucked up into the scope of social media and the unrealistic expectations but i feel like there's also a lot of good in tiktok and social media it's like you can learn things you can learn skill sets you can learn how to make meals that are healthier you can learn new exercises you can learn like any any quick information whether it be yeah. like those realistic life hacks shit on a book like whether it was good or not a movie good movie to watch a good show good exercise diet tips like literally anything anything you can learn on TikTok really quickly or like you can just find motivation really quickly you know what i mean yeah so it's just once you're self-aware and you realize what you're doing that you're just like sitting down and looking at your phone for hours on end put that shit down or like even after 10 minutes like put that shit down go do something more productive you know what i mean there's plenty of things to do yeah. but i mean it's just in moderation it's a, it's fine i don't think there's anything wrong with it but of course like all things too much of it is bad whether it be water vegetables anything yeah. too much of it is bad so how y'all feel about it denzel for breezy um I think uh I think it it is ma- it, it matters and it and it's not too good because they can they can use that data. Not the data itself of what we post on TikTok and stuff. It's just that they can link they could if they got access to like everyone's TikTok because it's in their country or whatever, they can just use that to basically gateway themselves into like our networks, like our like our um uh, passwords to other sites and stuff like that. They can use that like maliciously. And they can mm-hmm. they can use that to get in, themselves in the door. I mean, it's like on a base level, like it's not really nothing. This is dumb shit on TikTok or some little you know information here and there. But it's not really like nothing too deep. It's not like they putting like the mm-hmm. secrets of the universe or of the United States or <laughs> anything classified on TikTok. So, I mean, for that yeah. at a base level, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But I can see why just having it available can lead into like some shit being compromised later like you know like oh um uh a famous uh, not even a famous like a uh, uh officer with the fbi's tiktok got hacked and then they proceed to go into his other um like passwords or they like yeah trojans or some shit you know mm-hmm. and then they mm-hmm. get to it and then they can get information that way so i can see why that mm-hmm. could be a flight risk that's true that's true but um yeah, we're Definitely. literally in the Cold War again. It's literally like another Cold War because China don't fuck with us or Russia. And that's like that's not even like up for debate. We don't even gotta think about it. Like they really don't fuck yeah. with us. I mean They've always yeah. been enemies though. So. I mean they've been enemies, but we've been it's been more tame like in the early two thousand. Like they was doing their own thing, they were doing their own thing. It wasn't really like smoke. Like now it's like they firing rockets and shit, putting um spy planes over funny. our shit. Like Yeah. Like Chill, that because if we have world. another nuclear war, the world's ending. Because it ain't it's too much, too much nuclear uh, warheads that just haven't been used, and they just we itching to use them bitches. I know the United States is itching to use them shits. They they ready. Like anything hit us, best believe they're gonna drop three bombs on them, and then they gonna retaliate, and then this is gonna be fallout huh. Vegas. So well, let's not really do use that. Training, bro. I thought New Vegas. <laughs> Oh, New yeah, Vegas is crazy. Yeah, let's just, let's not get Fallout New Vegas <laughs> out here. <laughs> so yeah. I hope you know everybody. You know, keep their shit under control, and mm-hmm. we'll be good. I mean, I didn't. Well, not to get political, but didn't 
China and Russia just link up? Like they're having like meetings and shit. They did. It's just kind of spooky. <laughs> hey man, let me get my bag first before y'all blow up the world. Let me like enjoy money. <laughs> and a, and a nah, that's real. That's so before real. Y'all blow up the Rod's gonna save plan. us all. That's what I'm saying. Rod's gonna save yeah, us. I'm all. gonna save y'all. <laughs> hey man, I, I give my I give my whole body if I have to 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 save y'all, but. Do I want to do that shit? Fuck no. <laughs> hey, Rod, I want to live just bomb. like y'all. Drop a spirit bomb, bro. Drop we'll, a spirit we'll bomb. You, like, we'll lend you the energy. I'm going to discover some, some kind of technology to become a superhuman or some shit. Like, let me control. show y'all some shit. <laughs> turn to Jax for real. <laughs> nah, that shit going to be like... Arms. I don't know. Like, what, what would y'all do if y'all found... like If y'all got that power? Like those kids from Chronicle? Like, would you... Would random you random ass power? Yeah, like would you just use it for evil, like telekinesis? What else? They had super strength, speed, damn near, damn near the ability to leap like over buildings and shit. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm just keeping this shit to myself. I don't know how, like, I'm gonna train though. Because if I have super strength, what the fuck am I gonna do? Go to junkyards and lift trains? Or they don't even yeah. have trains in junkyards. Go to landfill like... and do it. True, true, but that's gonna like stink. Shit. Yeah, it'd be ass. Go to an island and just, just chill there. You can go oh, to like yeah, you right. can go in the mountains. You can go so you, yeah, you got go, places. Go lift the mountains. Smash mountains. You, no, go you could go the in the mountains and then you can just start lifting there. If anyone see you, it's only like one person. They ain't gonna have no proof. I seen someone lifting a mountain the other day. It's like And they would go on their phone. <laughs> Even if they see you lifting up like like something extremely heavy, they'd be like, This shit's Photoshop. Bro, yeah, you that shit is it's AI, but like AI did it. <laughs> yeah, nah, you're right. You're right. You can actually yeah, get away with some shit like that nowadays. You can't I'm just trying to think, it. like, what what the fuck would be efficient, bro? Like, like you seen you seen uh Mr. Incredible training and in, uh The Incredibles when he was like lifting the trucks or the trains. You know what I'm mm-hmm. talking about? Like using like levers. Yeah. I don't know. I have to move some buildings or something. That that'd be ass. But you can um, do that though. They got areas of the world you can do that in. Yeah, I'm sure there's like abandoned towns. I could just go lift somebody's house and just start squatting their house or something, <laughs> or like stores. There's there's plenty of things to just you know what I'm saying just That's utilize. Right. But he's gonna deadlift go to the island fucking if you want to. Earth's crust. I'm gonna be deadlifting mantles and and tectonic plates. <laughs> just destroying the planet for fucking what? <laughs> pulling trees out <laughs> out of the ground, okay, bro. Man, Doing snatches. <laughs> Naruto damage to the planet. <laughs> Thank God I put a big ass crater in the ground, but no, nah, I just picked it up to lift it up. Hey, yeah, man. for Breezy, what you think about the the TikTok ban? I'm bad for real. Like, I mean, my TikTok is dumb as hell. You look at my TikTok, it's stupid. It is stupid things. There's some good things like okay, how to change a tire, a tire wheel, you know. Yeah. But the thing is like that where your location is. Go ahead and know where most of the locations are. They're like, okay. So they could find out that with that. And like Denzel said, they could find out in your other apps. They could link things with your other apps and find out more about you. Leak stuff like that. But overall, I just think it's just... Personally, I don't care. I don't mind. You know, they ban it, they ban it. It's whatever. There's other apps you could go to. <laughs> Look at Denzel's eyes, bro. Why are they so big? <laughs> Now let me let me let's let's go down another layer of, of this shit, right? Now, mm-hmm. do you think do you think it's really a problem with TikTok, or do you think it's just because it's Chinese? So if you think if TikTok was made by any other country, you think it would have been an issue, or because it's Chinese, it's an issue? So like if it was a yeah, because like if it, it was, was like a UK ally. app, or if it was a fucking German app, or if it yeah. was I don't know. Yeah, one of the allies would Chinese, be fine. It was in, it was in, well, it's in China, but if it was in Russia, it would have been the same energy. It probably would have been worse, actually. Yeah. So it would be Rick Rock. Like, Vladimir? Nah, we're banning TikTok. <laughs> no. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Who no. over there? Vladimir. Oh, yeah, who's the leader? No. Oh, yeah, that, oh, yeah, that shit got to go. Shut that <laughs> shit down right now. Shut it down right now. Shut down <laughs> servers right now. Right now. They already going crazy, <laughs> like, when everybody on uh, Instagram was getting hacked by the Russians, like, that's just funny. Devin. Yeah, we know somebody personally that that shit happened to. Devin. And me. I lied to you. Really snatched his ass up. I had, had him in the, uh, in, the, in the gulag. That shit's For crazy. Real. They had him in uh, Verdansk. For real. Yo, that, that shit was so wild. I think his TikTok step. Matter of fact, 
His shit's still in the chokehold, ain't it? Yeah. Don't he got all kinds of Russian alphabet alphabet in his uh his bio? We yeah. We can't even tag him in no TikToks. That's crazy. <laughs> He'd be like, what the fuck is this shit? And he got Lucifer as his profile picture. Like, let me stop. Let me stop. He's not here. But anyways, man, let's, let's move hey, don't, forward. Don't, don't beat that man up while he's not here, man. Yeah, yeah. He'll watch this. He'll watch this. He'll watch it, yeah. True. So let, let's move forward. Let's move forward. So we... Not we didn't uh, well we addressed well we made a joke about it we mentioned it but we didn't really deep do like a deep dive on it the Michael B Jordan and the corny situation we really didn't deep dive on that shit we just mentioned it and whatever so mm-hmm. I mean by now everyone should know but if you don't you just live under a rock Michael B Jordan had a red carpet interview for uh, I think it was Creed was it Creed I think it was promo for Creed I think it was like the early showings for Creed and. An interviewer walked up and was like, um, hey, Michael B. Jordan, can we get an interview, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, oh, you called me corny, right? She's like, no, I didn't. She was like, he was like, yeah, you called me corny. I was the corny kid, right? She was like, yeah, we might have said it, blah, blah, blah. It's like, right. So, like, for the guys out there, right? This is specifically, oh, no, it could go for the girls, too. Fuck it. For both of y'all. I know we've all had that moment where, like, we met somebody in like middle school, high school, and they're like, nah, like, fuck this. Like, nah, I'm not rocking with you. You ugly, you this and you that. And that glow up happens. And all of a sudden, that shit just disappears. Yo ass ain't the corny kid. Yo ass ain't the goofy kid, the band kid, the nerd. The, none of that shit. You, yo ass is on. You know what I'm saying? That glow up hits you. And motherfuckers just get to forgetting what they used to say. But hey, man, she found herself in a predicament. I don't even. If I was her, I wouldn't even have went for the interview. I would have just known, like, I just called this motherfucker corny a, a bunch of times, just picking on this man, and look at me trying to get a damn interview with this man. Like, what the fuck? And pretend like I didn't call him that. Like, come on now. Come it's on like, now. It's Michael B. Jordan. He has no reason to lie. So it's like you can't say that you didn't say it. You said that shit. He said, yeah. "I heard you." Now I heard you. Like, damn, bro, just own up to it. Just be yeah. like, yeah, I did, but you know, <laughs> like, you don't even have to make an excuse and be like, yeah, we were kids. Like, that's what you did. It's like, bro, yeah, I did, I did. My bad. Like, you proved me wrong. Yeah. I said, just take the L. Like, people uh. will respect you more. You know what I'm saying? But people are also coming for him because they're saying, like, you have all this money and power right now. Why does it matter? Like, why'd you have to call her out? Like, did, were you that fucking fuck bothered? That no, fuck that shit. Yeah, yeah, I was bothered. I was bothered back then. Now I'm up. And look at your ass asking me for an interview. Man, fuck that shit. It's Michael yeah. B. motherfucking Maybe. Jordan. And just the roots, you feel me? Like, yeah. I had this happen to me once. I went to McDonald's. And there was this guy who used to pick on me. He was my fucking food. And I'm like, he's like, oh, Fabricio, is that you? And I'm like, yeah, it was good, bro. He's like, man, remember back in middle school? Like, how we used to make jokes about you? And I'm like, man, sure my damn food, bro. He gave me my food and I just drove off. <laughs> yeah. So that shit up. Nobody wants to fucking talk about that shit. I had somebody like that too. Um, I forgot who it was, bro. But it was like one of these. It was one of these kids in middle school that used to be like annoying as shit, bro. Like, and I went to um, I went to I know we, I talk about this all the time, but like I went to Southridge Summer Camp and Coloridge Summer Camp, mm-hmm. and there was this dude that I used to be like, like he used to not really pick on me, but he used to pick on like everybody. He just had that like mindset. He wasn't really like a bully. Because he was, like, playing with everybody, but, like, he was, like, that aggressive kid that would, like, make fun of everybody and try to be cool, try to get the hoes. Like, one of those kids, one of those street dudes. Yeah. And I seen him years later. Dude came into the store just, like, a regular-ass fucking dude. And I was just like, God damn, look how far you don't fucking fall in. And there's another one, too. He's shorter. Like, they used to call him Mimi, which is a bitch's name, which is crazy. Like, God damn, I wish I, oh, I, wish I had the same mindset That's I do now crazy. when I was younger. But yeah, he he was short. He was like literally short as shit, bro. He was like maybe five four, like just tiny ass dude. And um, like he used to try to roast everybody. Thought he was so fucking cool. And like low key, like cause cause at the time it seemed like he had like that entourage of friends. He seemed like he had power, right? Like so, like mm-hmm. you didn't know if you could whoop him. Like you had to fight his friends too. All this shit, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Came into Foot Locker, hairline faded as shit. Gone. I'm talking <laughs> shit patchy. He looking like he got alopecia. Man's got a dirty ass white tee on, bow legged. I was like, look at this short fuck. Is this really who I was scared of? I was just like, damn, bro. Like, I really wish I just beat somebody's ass when I was younger. I don't know. Like, but yeah, it's like, 
don't try to be buddy buddy with me now like we not cool you used to talk that shit try to roast me and try to fuck around with me like we, we not cool like yeah. now i'm bigger stronger got more fucking money got more drip healthier like shut your ass up get the fuck away from me we not cool give me my shit i'm leaving like no nah, i'm not helping don't ask me for no fucking help he walked into foot locker looking like no bitch i know you can't afford the shoes you got in a dingy ass white tee barely fix your hairline like just cut the shit off no bro no no bro that shit that shit is not cool but like but for michael b jordan if i was in that position i would have just i would have just looked at her and made her feel awkward during the interview like and she was like uh i would have been like damn I was the corny kid, right? And she'd have been like, nah, what do you mean? It's like, nah, you called me corny. And I would have just looked at her. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. Did the <laughs> pull what Denzel be talking about? Hit the smile. Look her Get up him. and down. Look at her shoes. Look at her shoes. Look at her dress. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's wild. <laughs> that's crazy. Then I would have just walked off, <laughs> like laughing. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't have made it look like I was pressed. Nothing. Just damn. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. And then just walk off. You feel what I'm saying? Like, he didn't have to give her that much, you know, like, emotion. I probably wouldn't have been professional. Like, just, I would have been disrespectful, but in a funny way. Like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, to be honest, like, I have too many things in my career to worry about than, like, what you did 10 years ago. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's just, yeah. it's just over at that point. You were pretty much a whole different person, like a stupid-ass person. And, like, I was, too. I was insecure. I was, I was on my grind, but I was insecure. You got your shit off. It is what it is. Now look at where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? So it's just funny how life works. You know, it yeah. can humble you really quickly. And she she could have been humbled and could have chose to look at it in a different light, but no. She chose to not take accountability. And because of that, people are coming for her online and saying all kinds of shit. And she that's what she's known for now. Instead of like being the interviewer that she is. Like, I still don't know what the hell she does. Or nice. like what magazine or brand she's from or whatever the case. I, I don't know. I don't know nothing about her. So <laughs> That's just what she known as, which sucks. So them glasses, big. Them glasses were big as fuck. I'm not gonna hold you. Them shits were big as hell. Transcriber with them bitches on. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. She she probably could. She probably could see everything. See his uh determination. <laughs> she definitely couldn't see the past. Of them she had the death note. Uh, I didn't. She could see see his, the remaining life force in his body above his head. Fat. For real. <laughs> she had the like expiration date. <laughs> Did she she see the vengeance in his heart. Yeah. Be like, damn! I saw that he knew that she, she was, was lying. Like, I can see. I can see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah. It's just. It's like, all right, bro. Just pipe down. It is what it is. Motherfuckers really uh be kicking you while you you know on the on the come up. We seen it. <laughs> we seen it here. Yeah. When your eyes get on that level, it's just like a whole different story. Motherfuckers get amnesia. That's gonna be crazy. That shit. I ain't gonna crazy. lie. <laughs> That shit is gonna be so sweet. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Give it a year. This shit, I'm gonna turn the fuck up. Just wait, bro. It's gonna be a whole bunch of YouTube videos dropping on that shit. Yeah. So many. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have screenshots of accounts. <laughs> fucking <Remember>? follower follower <laughs> follower uh numbers, like the amount of followers. I'm gonna have the uh the uh the views on the shit with no responses. <laughs> I'ma have I'ma have all that shit and, and then like this the shit gonna screen shakes and be like a transition. The number's gonna be up and I'm gonna play that song that I played earlier, that superstar shit, that uh painted picture, that mama. Don't worry, you raised the game. <laughs> I'm gonna have that shit playing in the background, it's gonna be the edit. I'm gonna start getting sturdy oh, on the counts. Shit. Like I'm gonna print them shits out, rip them shits up, throw them on the floor, get sturdy on them <laughs> shit. Oh my god, I'm gonna go stupid. It's gonna be so crazy. It's gonna be so crazy. Bro. It is. Uh, is it, it is a nice feeling to see like the views go up and like looking at the analytics for the channel and see everything go up. Like, a lot of shit. <laughs> this shit. I mean, the YouTube channel itself is not a year old yet. Like that shit turns a year in like January or uh, June, either June mm -hmm. or July. But to see where we're at now as opposed to like a year ago is, is crazy. The growth is crazy. Y'all motherfuckers might not see it right now, but we see it. Shit be skipping. Views be jumping. I'd be like, whoa, what, what's popping off? And I can't even see what's popping off because we have so many fucking videos now. I can't even yep. see. We have like 200 and something videos. One piece. So one, of them, one of them might might have popped off and I just don't even fucking know. But it's um, hurt. <laughs> it's just that when the shit pops, it's going to be crazy to see like... Like the the growth and then the numbers go up on every other video. It's just gonna rise because they're gonna be like, "Damn, they didn't drop nothing today," or they, they maybe they did drop something. And then when that happens, 
we can slow not slow down but we can make better quality content instead of just being like okay let's play the numbers game let's just gather people let's gather mm-hmm. people hey we make this funny ass shit this shit's funny as fuck this is cool as fuck you relate to this we just recruiting all these people then when the numbers get high enough they're gonna be like okay let's watch this okay that was a cool video shit tomorrow i'm gonna watch this video i'm gonna share this to somebody bro this is funny it's gonna get memed i'm gonna watch this video i'm gonna watch this video and all the numbers just gonna trickle up and trickle up and trickle up and that's when the fucking claims gonna start coming the copyrights and all that other bullshit oh, yeah. where like some videos gonna go down some of them gonna get demonetized because we curse so fucking much but it's like whatever it's whatever we got you know? We'll, we'll, t- we'll turn down the cursing just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just turn it down. No promises. At least, at least for me. At least for me. I'll, I'll try. I'll try. I'll just... Um, I'll edit the shit out. It is what it is. <laughs> Man, just letting them rock. Um, But from Michael B. Jordan, it wouldn't be right if we didn't talk about his, his counterpart, his partner in crime. Well, not literally. Hold on. <laughs> Jonathan Majors. They done booked my man for domestic violence. Um, headline came out, took me by surprise. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, John, the majors did what? Hold on, now this man's at the the height of his career, damn near, and motherfucker got uh uh arrested for domestic violence. So and so, like, apparently the it's his girlfriend. It was his girlfriend. They were arguing over like some some relationship shit, and then he strangled her. And they got arrest. He got arrested, but then comes out later that um she recanted her statements, so she switched her opinions on it. And motherfuckers took that one headline that Jonathan Majors arrested for domestic violence and ran with that shit. And was like, I can't believe just a bunch of slander. MCU needs to drop him. Blah blah. blah cancel this man. And it's like, bro. We can't, like, normally when headlines come out like that, like, I feel like I can't really blame the people, more of the reporters, because, like, why put out a headline when you don't have all the facts? Talking about this is a developing story. It's like, because you're going to throw out this easy to, <laughs> easy to digest as headline, where people are just going to eat that shit up and run this man's career into the grave for some clicks on your weak-ass fucking news website that nobody's gonna fucking go to or your little news blog motherfuckers ain't gonna click on that shit it's clicking because they see jonathan majors they want to read the story but it's like motherfuckers is quick to just run with that headline and then slandered my man and it's like he didn't even fucking do it but you know isn't it supposed to be uh was it innocent until proven guilty exactly but now it's like it's the opposite now you're guilty until you're proven innocent and it's crazy mm-hmm. That's, that's so crazy. That's shameful. It just yeah. sucks because, like, I mean, the the reporters, like you said, they just trying to get they they clicks up. You know, mm-hmm. they trying to get their reads in, trying to meet their quota or whatever it is. They just you know trying to do their job. They find some shit. It's an attention grabber. They get people to click and read. So they put the story out there. Now, for the people that are covering it and doing the same thing with their content, it's like you can at least say that you don't have all the facts yet. Or give a disclaimer and say that it's a developing story. It may or may not be true. This isn't factual. It isn't confirmed. Instead of just being like, cancel this man. Cancel this man. Like, why are you so quick to do that? Yeah. You don't even know all the facts. It says it's, de- it's a developing story. Then it's like, now you look dumb when it's recanted. Or you just leave it up. Like, you won't even make a follow-up, you know, an update. I've seen that happen before. I'm not saying it's going to happen with this situation. Or it has, but... <laughs> Job. Shut your ass up, man. What y'all was, what you were saying? You didn't Rod? step you done stepped on Rod's point with your fucking malfunctions. Damn. <laughs> hey, you know what be malfunctioning? <laughs> Devices. <laughs> Gadgets. <laughs> Hardware. Sixteen <laughs> fifty. Hey man, check out late night shenanigans one through three. Um, oh, shameless shit. plug. Specifically yeah. one. Check out one. One's like the best one. Three is kind of cool too. Yeah. I recommend one. <laughs> this man here. You said you recommend one? That's tough. That's tough. I like yeah. I like them all. I like them all. They're all funny, I think. Oh, oh, shit. Crazy. I'm always the one fighting for my life in all three. 
No, nah, we be fighting too. It's just that I don't know. Like usually it starts with you saying some slick shit. <laughs> Because it's, it's it like does. you'll say that's usually how it always starts. Anytime I start roasting with you, I know that's how it always starts. Like you'll either say some slick shit, or like, or like we'll just disagree on something, and it's just like fuck it. Now we roasting because <laughs> we can't, we can't see eye to eye, or we can't agree to disagree. So now we roasting. Fuck it. That's usually how it happens. But hey, um, yeah, I kind of, I kind of lost my my point, my train of thought, what I was speaking on, but. Um, we were talking about the Jonathan, Jonathan Major Majors. situations, yeah. yeah, and it's just um like those those people that like cover drama and like uh, breaking news and things things like that. Um, what's his what's dude's name? Um, Dom is live. I used to watch him all the time. I really love like the way he covers content because sometimes he'll say like he'll say supposedly and allegedly this and that, you know, alluding to the fact that it's not this information isn't concrete. You know what I mean? Right, right. And that's important because, like I said, some people just consume, 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 and they don't research what they're consuming. Don't know if it's, you know, authentic. Right. So that's that's really important for people like that, whether it be like younger people or like just naive adults or people that just don't know any better. Because, you know, in this age of social media, you use any kind of news outlet, whether it be Instagram, Twitter, shit, sometimes even TikTok, because... Some of those things are backed up by facts and like the the actual sources that um I forgot what it's called, but like the the uh the um let's call it a mechanism shit that like Twitter has like it'll tell you if some shit is false or like mm-hmm. it's been disproven and in right. Instagram it'll say it too like there's a it'll be like an exclamation mark you click on it and it's like oh this this uh picture has been edited and it, it is uh augmented to look this way the truth is this find links on it here like right so i love that there that that is a thing but yeah people be using facebook instagram and twitter for news and sometimes even youtube so it's like that shit is important y'all can't just be playing with shit like that because y'all want some money or some clicks yeah you know what i mean at this like, man's detriment right like if he's actually if he has actually been arrested that means that that shit's on his record now yeah. For something that she recanted, and it's like, why did you do that? Because you feel guilty, because you know that it wasn't all the way true, and that you can get sued for it, mm-hmm. or that you're ruining, like you're breaking up a family. I don't know how long they've been girlfriend, boyfriend, how long they've been dating, but it's like you're breaking up friends, family, like a career, like like you don't realize how important this shit is because you just wanted to be petty and say that hey, like he hit me and cry a wolf. I was like, that's what you fucking get next time. Listen to me, like, come on yeah. now. We can't be doing this shit. Not as adults with careers that are that important. When his his whole career literally is hearsay. Yeah, and that shit's tough as a a, a black entertainer because you know we get the shitty end of the stick already. So it's like once yeah. we get into some uh Rumble? any of any type. Yeah, it's like that's it. It's raps. Motherfucker get canceled immediately. Yeah. So it's like Just take that man livelihood. Hey man. Oh. Hopefully he he makes a, a strong comeback because you know I like seeing him and, and Michael B Jordan together. You know I like seeing like even though they do some <laughs> questionable poses with with some of these magazine covers, but it's nice to see oh, like two. Oh yeah, yeah it's right, nice to we see. Go together, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we took nice a to picture, two... but it ain't look like that. <laughs> it's nice to see two black two black men, you know, in the limelight when it comes to some of these movies and all that. You know what I'm saying? So. It's not just Michael B. Jordan, you know what I'm saying? Jonathan Major's yeah. getting his, his shine now. And he's That's how working. you do the pictures right. That's how you do it right. Not that sus ass shit. You can't really see it, but that sus ass shit that uh Bro, it, was it was real, just... they was about this far away from each other's head. The yeah. Just... Touching it. The face was touching like just staring into the camera like, whoa, what do we got Bro, going on? Brolic like as hell in that picture. <laughs> oh, I'm not, bro. It's yeah, literally no muscle. It's like, a, like a truck. You see his arm? Show us again. Show us again. Show us again. Yeah, Raw looking like his arm. arm. Pause bro, <laughs> there's literally no muscle definition. Big body ass. God. That's what talking about. God. There's no Look veins. Look at arms. Damn. God. Oh my God. Whoa. But the no, bust out the shirt. Tip. I'm not going to lie. Look at that neck, though. God. Yeah. Let me see. Your neck that's or my look. neck? No, not sure. <laughs> not oh, sure. That's about mine. That should look thick and healthy. I know. Yo, oh, look at that <laughs> But nah, there's there's literally no <laughs> definition, bro. Not one vein showing. Stop it. Okay, my my arms are no smooth. Vein, I mean, it's like not bald. No, you're not burly. Yeah, that that is what it means, though. <laughs> ain't no ain't no muscle. Ain't no definition. Burly okay. like this. 
It's just it's just big ass smooth body. It's it's yeah, different now though. Big, big ass, ass big ass smooth you body. Big ass right. body. Period. You and Jonathan Majors got a lot in common. <laughs> oh, Kevin, you Kevin out the ass. Yeah, what's what's uh what we don't have in common is fucking body fat percentage. That man's and exactly body fat is low as shit. Rod look in the in a photo. That's exactly how he look in person. Big as shit. And I ain't gonna lie, big as shit. That, that man might have some, you know what I'm saying? He might have had some some juice. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I I've read uh the amount of muscle that man put on in what like a year and a half. How that much shit was it? Crazy. I think it was like twenty pounds or something like that. 20, 30 pounds to, of muscle. I thought, yeah, I was saying I thought it was close to thirty. I mean, if you if yeah. you got money, if you actually, no uh, no no Denzel. No, I sent I sent nah. Rod. A, I sent Rod. He this is I sent Rod a TikTok of him describing like his diet. My father was consuming like six thousand calories a day, and ro- working out three times a day. But I was like every six thousand calories every day. He was preparing for like I a roll. That's how he got big. He got big for like a roll. Yeah, I mean, I've seen I've seen actors do that before. Like the uh, I don't know his name, but the actor that plays Wolverine, mm-hmm. him, um, you know, uh, the one that plays uh, Thor. Mm-hmm. That dude, the one that plays Captain America, went yeah, stupid. He, yeah. he gained yeah, a shit ton of muscle. Yeah, but he said, "Um, well, it just says October 2022 but it doesn't say like when he started." So I don't know, but he was always in shape. But it's like he went from he went from being like a skinny, like really skinny dude, to being this buff ass, burly, like veiny, at, like nah, bro. Bro, it's it, like if you have okay, if your profession allows you to be at home. And all you gotta do is prepare for a role. They literally pay you your money up front and you just prepare for your role. You can do it. Like, imagine being an actor, life of an actor. You can literally be in the house every day just eating the right food, get someone to door dash to your shit, or you can um go get that shit yourself and cook and make some food, meal prep, and then just work out every day. That's perfectly doable. You know. Nah, you know so that makes perfect prep. sense that he could do that. Like, nah, it's not like they gotta go to work. Meal prep is kind of crazy. If he was he really going to just... work and had to do that, it probably wouldn't happen. If he was working like if he was like us, like going to j- work and shit, he probably wouldn't be able to because he don't got enough time. But like with his profession, yeah, he got time to do that shit for sure. Meal prep, meal oh, prep is just crazy. Ten pounds of muscle. Oh, only ten? Um, I thought it was more than that. Anyways, meal prep is crazy because like motherfuckers really be eating six day old chicken and rice. I know, <laughs> but that. that but that's like that's the that's thing first of all that's cap. Let me go. Let me go ahead and nip that in the bud. Six, right, eight, two, eight, chicken eight, and rice. Two, that eight, shit. Eight, like six bo- boxes. Six okay. boxes like this. On like Sunday, said, they eat the last box on Saturday. So that shit. No, that's not what box. it is. That is actually false as fuck, and it's clear that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Because what they'll do is they'll prep from Sunday to Wednesday, and then it goes Wednesday to Saturday or Thursday hey, to Saturday. I see. I see people with six oh, okay. fucking Tupperware boxes like this. Prep. Yeah, I mean, it's probably for the breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast, yeah, lunch, dinner, that. breakfast, lunch, dinner. Come on now, make it make sense now. My buddy eating the same shit. Dry ass, soggy ass, fucking, Ground not even beef. soggy. Hard lie. ass, hard ass rice. Get this shit up. I'm that fucking not be hard. I ain't, I ain't meal prepping for shit, they, man. They we don't clean eat. the rice. It's just throw that bitch in the water. <laughs> don't clean that shit. None of them clean the rice. <laughs> They just throw that I could violate water. right now. I could really <laughs> violate, bro. But I ain't gonna do shit. Y'all, y'all oh, got it. Go ahead, go off. Right, you, you clean the rice. Go, you know, go ahead, go water. off, bro. You, you, let me, let me say something. What, what them bodybuilders or people that meal prepping you got it, got in common or don't have in common? Steroids. <laughs> yep, steroids. Nah, Jonathan Majors. I, I ain't talking about him. <laughs> I, I ain't That's talking about that. Juiced man. up. Okay, so what it was is that he reduced his body fat to 5%. And then he gained 10 pounds a month. Yeah, fuck no. <laughs> fuck no. Do you do know that no. he had hours in a day huh? and he had seven days? Denzel, Denzel, no. No, no. Mm-hmm. Because if that's the case, that same shit fucking applies to you. No, bro. There is no way you gaining that much fucking muscle and reducing your body fat in that small ass period of time. Bro. Because he has to be at a deficit to reduce body fat, and he has to be at a calor- a caloric surplus to increase muscle gain. Ain't no fucking way. And I'm pretty body sure the genetic makeup is different, King. No, bro. No. Not everybody gains no. muscle the exact same way you do. No, King. bro. If that was you the have case, to. 
No, you have to be at over at least 1,500 calories to gain that muscle. Ain't no, you can't eat fucking just 300 calories and gain muscle. Bro, I've been doing this shit for a while. You, you can't just, no. No, that that's, that's not how that shit happens. That that shit not, like like he really said, good. you heard how he said 6,000 calories. Good. You heard Terrell, right? 6,000 calories. Probably he had to be, how do you, how do you, so how do you eat that shit? How do you eat that shit and then lose body fat? All the you way can, to 5 You can get 3,000, you can get... 3,000 calories off a little protein, whey protein shake. You could easily get 3,000 calories. And you can oh drink two of those God. in one day and get 6,000. No, no, the fuck you cannot. You cannot get no 6,000 calories off a whey protein shake, bro. I mean, 3,000 3, in one and then two a day, 6,000, and then you eating. That's another. No, like you 4, cannot. If you're eating a lot, you could get like 10,000 calories in a day. No, the fuck you can't, bro. You make me want to go put grab the right that shit in shit. there. You can put the right shit in there. I mean, you got to put the right stuff to... You know, first the of all, and the calories. First of all, I'm that's like, a I'm supplement. Like it's only for the protein that you don't get in. It's really like what you eat. Like, like you said, the the beef. Like you actually put like what I sent you. They put like a pound of beef in the shit, and that, a pound of beef still. It's a How pound, of, a pound of beef. beef. Let's, let's let's get to the nitty gritty. How much is a pound of beef? Like I said, if you put the How pound, much is of, a pound beef of beef, in that shit, and then mm -hmm. you put in the other sources of protein, moving around, you're moving that goalpost. No, I'm gonna finish. I'm no, I'm gonna finish. You put in the sources of protein in that shit, and it's still not even twelve hundred calories. I sent the post to you. You clearly ain't watched that shit. I did that watch shit. it. You okay. put them nasty ass spinaches in there with no calories in it. That shit yeah, literally is no for calories. Vitamins. It's for vitamins and fiber because it's so much fucking protein. Your asshole gonna be bricked. It's gonna be bricked when you try, and the gas okay. is gonna be terrible. It's it's just like there, there's just no way, bro. That's just there's just no. He had to have some help. Okay, you got it he off. You got that. your shit off, right? But here's the million dollar question. How much is a pound of ground beef? I just told you. I told you after he prepared the meal, it's like 12, it's not even 1,200 calories yet. I say, <laughs> how much is a pack of ground beef? A pound of ground beef. You just said it's a pound. Beef. What are you talking about? You say he used a pound of ground beef. Do you know how much that costs? I don't know how much it costs. Why I don't? What the fuck? Why are you asking me that? I, I, that just goes back to um, whatever dude name is. I forgot his name that quick. What's the, what's buddy name? The Creed. Dude? Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He could afford it. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, he can't afford it. But what I'm telling this nigga missed the whole fucking point. Holy fucking shit! How can you be that nits? You actually because it goes. It goes to it goes to like the <laughs> calorie intake. He had other yeah, shit with it. I mean, it's not like he just ate food and just I got six thousand. Yeah. He put he, he took some pills. He probably took some pills. Um, not steroids, but he probably took some like supplements, like pill supplements. Shut off, King. Yep. And um, and some protein shakes, whey protein shakes to get extra calories on top of that. Piss, piss right okay. off. Okay, but like I said, that meal, that one heavy ass meal right there, consists of not even twelve hundred calories, and you're eating so much more food. How are you reducing your body fat at the same time? By working out three times a day. Oh my fucking god! You don't know how it works. You don't. That's not even. That's not even enough working out. That's not even enough working out. You need to work out at least six fucking times, and that's still crazy. That's not enough working out. Three times a day is not enough to gain that much muscle and you reduce the body three, fat. Three times a day for two hours each time. I mean, that seems like enough to me. But you know, you okay, what that, what that, what that is is called overtraining. It's gonna have detrimental effects. You're not gonna be able to recover. Because I'm pretty sure he's though. waking up early. Denzel, you're doing this shit at the wrong point. You know what this is? You know what this is right now? This is like me fucking arguing with you about fucking PCs. This is what hey, this bro. is what the fuck you're doing. Like you, you sound do that though. I just Denzel, I just want to say Denzel in this scope point. right now, Denzel you sound point. very goofy. Okay. Right. Go ahead, Terrell. Go ahead, Terrell. Because I see you trying to get some shit off too. Let's jump him. What what what, 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 what was that? Jump his ass. Why is, why is he leaning off the camera like that? Is he good? This man having a stroke? Blue, uh, blue silkies. Let's put them on. Let's jump this man. You got the wrong color on. He said put podcast. on the blue silkies. <laughs> nah, bro. Oh. Oh. Kobu. Is this man, is this man all right? I'm kind of worried. Nah, I had a phone call. I had a phone call. My fault. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Good. Um, I, didn't, I didn't see anything that you did, so I ain't, yeah. I ain't know. Kobu, get... Anyways, I want to know man. what he ate now. Y'all, y'all go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna look this shit up. Um, I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't. Okay, I don't. <laughs> we'll end it. We'll end. Damn, do we end up the podcast somber with the the Nashville thing? I mean, we've talked about shootings 
throughout the podcast, like history of the podcast. You can go from fucking episode. What was the first one? The first one was like within one to ten. There's an episode where we talking about shootings and stuff. But I mean, the only input, obviously, we have to do something about guns. But another aspect to this one that makes it kind of different from the other ones is that the shooter was a woman trans transitioning into a man. And then a lot of people are upset because people are getting her pronouns wrong. But I feel like in this situation, we shouldn't be, that shouldn't be the concern of the people. The concern should be, you know what I'm saying, the whole situation. How the fuck did this person get into the building and do all this stuff? Like, how did they have this access and what was the reasoning and all this stuff? But, I mean, if you looked at the body cam footage, I seen it, I seen it today, earlier today. Um, they handled it better than they did in Texas. I can tell you that with the utmost certainty. Motherfuckers went in, ran in, made that shit quick. Seen, seen the shooter, iced them, done, over, shot, shot the shit out of them, as they were supposed to do, but they didn't do that in Texas. So I could say the response time was a little bit quicker, but this is still an issue. I think, um... There's been like upwards of 60 shootings already in America. This is the first one I've heard of. What's crazy is that all these, I need to, we need to break down, we need to do our research and see what is considered a mass shooting. So it could, I think it's after three people, it's a mass shooting. And we've had 60 of those. If I'm not mistaken, that's what how they break down the definition of a mass shooting, if I'm not mistaken. But to have 60 already, we in April, it's either 60 or I've seen two numbers. I've seen 60 plus and then I've seen like 128. So I don't know what the, the actual number is, but we've had hella shootings already. We've seen some in, in Florida too with spring break. Motherfuckers just came through and start just shooting. Motherfuckers get some alcohol in them and then they start shooting. But I mean, I think I can speak for all of us here that there is an issue here, but we've already rapped about this. But prayers to... uh. Those who've lost anyone in the Nashville shooting, I think it was three kids and three adults, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It was six people. Um, mm. They put their pictures out. The principal actually tried to, like, stop the shooter, and she died in the, the process. So, you know what I'm saying? RIP to all of them. Um, but, you know, we don't want to really wrap, not to, you know, take any, anything away from the situation, but we've already had plenty of episodes where we went into depth and detail about you know the situation <clears throat> but besides that we should ask Fabrizio some fucking questions since he's a fan he's coming from the the fan perspective you know what I'm saying we got the first fan on the podcast so Fabrizio what what do you like the most about the podcast and don't give me no generic answer like, let me get you know, some some thoughts behind it. Yeah, and I want you to lean in too, because sometimes the audio cuts out. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. multiple reasons. There's multiple <laughs> fucking reasons. Y'all so like I mean, first of all, closer to my age than other the other people that do podcasts and do all this, right? Mm-hmm. And so I understand where y'all guys are coming from. Y'all have the same mindset as me. And I like that. Like some like Rod be saying things and I'm like, okay. I understand Rod's perspective, Denzel's. I understand you, I understand Devin's perspective, and I, I like hearing that y'all be talking about real topics. Like, sure, y'all like to goof around, talk about other things, you know, make it entertaining. But overall, y'all talking about real shit, dropping real gems, and I'm like, okay, I like, what I'm, I like what I'm hearing. I like this. Remember, y'all did an episode back then with the girl situation. What situation? Uh, there was a situation. Y- y'all remember? I know you were. Y'all talked about and dropped no names, but hey. What fucking situation? Whose situation about? was it? My situation? His situation? Oh, uh, it's your situation? A day. Yeah, oh, okay. Just... Your situation? What the uh, fuck? With the, with, yeah, about? with the colleague, you know. You know, Toro and Rod. Yeah, I think I remember. He, 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 t- he, t- he t- help. Yep. Yeah, he talked. To, he talked a little bit about this, and he was. Um, I think he was asking for advice. 
Cause uh, I don't, I don't know how to how to give more details. You know what I'm saying? This shit is over. Yeah, we, can, we, we, we can stop that right there. <laughs> all right, all right. I understand? Like y'all be y'all be giving out real help, and I like that. I listen to them, they be saying things, and I'm like, okay. I, I could enlighten myself on this, and it makes me feel better. It makes me be a better person overall. Yeah, and that's why I like the podcast so much. It's valid. It's to come, learn, you feel me? <laughs> yeah. He got the Denzel effect for real. But, <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Well, not your effect no more because you done fixed it. You know what I'm saying? Good oh, shit. Are y'all throwing shade? Who is I y'all? I, mean, I didn't even say anything. What? Oh, what did just agree. <laughs> All right, my bad, my bad. Sorry. I, I read the room wrong. Hey. My bad. Uh, my bad, OG. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> Fabrizio, what's your what's your favorite oh, episode? Geez. What's your favorite episode of the podcast? If you had to pick one, or like and your then, favorite moment, anything, honestly, and your least favorite. So I, I want to know what least what was episode the, was the one girl of the audio. <laughs> Talking about that on episode eight. That that no, episode is saying, forsaken. No, that episode is. Yeah, yeah. Nah, it's funny because we might we might have a repeat of that soon. That was legendary. That episode. That, that was legendary. And we talked about some real shit on that episode, too. That's crazy. God damn, for it be, yeah. For it to be, like, considered the worst one. That's our, isn't that the episode where I was talking about opening up OnlyFans? That, that no, episode is called OnlyFans. The episode is called OnlyFans. We're talking about, like... Getting with somebody that has an OnlyFans mm-hmm. and would you make content with them and all that. Damn, I feel bad. I Fuck, I fucked that up. We got to get her back. Yeah, we do. Nah, Gotta get her to talk it. on the actual headset, cause I yeah. because Nat honestly sometimes she be she be spitting some real shit. Sometimes she be spitting some fucking blasphemy, cause she's like a like a hot headed chick. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So sometimes I just be like listen to Nat, be like Nat, like you can't just you know like blow up on somebody like that. And she's like who who the, who can't? I just be like Nat, bro. I'm like dead. you need to chill. Like you need to calm down. Like just relax. Dang, Lower OG. your tone. Lower your tone. Dang, OG. Yeah, no, Nat. Nat is. <laughs> That is well, a hothead. We'll get real. it back, man. This is gonna be the season of guests. So y'all, y'all get ready for that, especially since we down a person. Y'all get ready for it. I thought it was rainy. Y'all get ready for uh <laughs> all the guests that we about to have. We might have Mario next week. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know because Fabrizio, Fabrizio and Mario have two different like personalities. I don't know how well Mario will mesh with the you know what I'm saying, with the the dynamic, the environment we have here. But Fabrizio, your favorite episode. We don't know what you said, Keen. Motherfucker might as well have been the finale. The finale? The season finale. Yeah. Which oh. one, though? 25? Or eating yeah. the fucking wings? That episode, I'm not going to lie. I, that shit was I, fire. It was a good episode, but... The like, upload and, and making the, it the was... Behind was the, the, scene, yeah. the behind the scenes pissed me off. Boy, I almost... That was that was my breaking point. Man, Boy, I was about to say fuck the podcast. I'm about to throw shit out the fucking window. All that shit for that episode, man. Yeah. Um, for that damn work. Yeah, for real. That Ain't shit, boy. When Terrell get we, mad, it's like it's like when Dad mad at the house and you just want to be quiet because you, you ain't trying to get cursed out. You just be like, you be looking at his yeah, ass like, you all right? Right, big dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit crazy. When Ter- when Terrell's get when Terrell gets mad, it's just crazy because it's like it's a whirlwind of emotions, and you can tell like he cannot hide it. You can hear it in his speech and how much he talks or how much he doesn't talk. The tone of voice, like, because he's always like hyperactive and energetic and like ready talking about some shit, ready to get into something. That when he's like actually not enjoying himself. It's so easy to tell, and I'm just like, God damn. And then you probably won't hear from him for like a day or two after. <laughs> but the last, this, he, he this, cool off. this little <laughs> break I took has nothing to do with me getting mad at no fucking game. I've just been vibing, you know what I'm saying, in my, in my space. But <laughs> that's just funny, though. I, I mean, I'm working on, on not getting mad at, at shit when shit doesn't go my fucking way, which yeah. happens a lot with this fucking podcast, bro. Facts. It's been a, a journey for real. This is kind of like a, a, a little checkpoint. I like this. I like this. Like a little, a little checkpoint for the podcast. Um, what other questions can we ask Fabrizio from his shit? Who's your favorite character or persona, or like who has your favorite persona? 
Not really. I mean, all something that I'm like, okay, okay. I I I relate to that, but most is that right? It's raw. Really? That's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, I'm glad people fuck with the energy, fuck with the vibe. This really just be like. This dog then got on my lap. All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta do this. Never, yeah. 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 Is he? All right, here, here, here. Look at Freddy. Hit you up here, Freddy. Oh, you don't know what he looking right at. He's like, where the, he's like, where the treats at? <laughs> all right, he good. But um, I was gonna say uh, that'd be like, it'd be like thirty percent fabricated like i just be doing shit just for the just for the energy you know what i'm saying i think it's gonna get worse though as time goes i think i'm really just gonna yeah. be egging shit on but um the majority of it is me and i appreciate that you that you could uh vibe with like the energy that i put out and like the uh the information the entertainment <laughs> i guess <laughs> i try to be entertaining you know what i'm saying God, man, look at them eyes you got the eyes what i don't lie i think eyes, what? I think Denzel, Denzel, when he really get in his bag, Denzel funny as fuck. Like, for real, for real, Denzel is low-key funny as shit. Yeah, he is. <laughs> like, bro, in that late night shenanigans video, like, you were cooking him the whole time. And then when he just had enough, he just fucking had enough. <laughs> he was like, you talking about oil so much shit. You was the one that discovered it with them glasses. You was like, it's right here. <laughs> he said you can see the, the the damn oil deposits in the ground you can see god accepting souls in the heaven but you can't see that fucking mustache on your face so you need to... <laughs> that shit was just funny because he was like you can see the process he's like you can see god accepting souls in the heaven <laughs> denzel is funny as yeah, fuck bro role, like we need to give denzel his flowers bro denzel really funny as fuck bro yeah, yeah, he be funny Terrell, as shit. Terrell, Terrell be like, he, he be hitting me with the with the perfect sell. That nigga, that nigga be trying to sell juniors to beat my ass. I was be like, bro, I ain't trying to fight right now. Just beat the fuck out of me. <laughs> yeah, hey, you fight back. So send us some more sell juniors. I don't know, bro. Then, I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm decent. My comedic timing is okay. You know what I'm saying? When to input some shit, just humble nah, the fuck out of myself. Well, Terrell be like the sticky glue though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> keep everything together keep everything grounded I, i'll say that much because sometimes yeah. i be going off the deep end sometimes i be going off their deep end and terrell they're like hold on now but he also oh, is the now. catalyst he also is the fuse and the catalyst let's oh, not no, let's no, not no. forget this though because that, that motherfucker on, <laughs> he'll he'll yeah Denzel, Denzel ain't with me he, he ain't on timing yet it's hell do not forget how this man is the reaction he's the chemical reaction for this shit he's the, the catalyst sometimes yeah, he is He'll he'll say some shit and then like chuckle and be like he like hey, damn that's crazy and then he'll like Ryan chuckle or some your, shit. Remember I say about your thirty nine? Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't take that. Damn. But like he probably wouldn't just say like he'd be like he'd be like damn god damn <laughs> shit. Fuck. Uh, he'll like laugh. I swear that'd be really like, funny. That's really funny. I don't really care. But funny. no one say. I swear, at least three school fights was because of Terrell growing up. Right. I, I okay. Nobody say. Maybe. Okay. Like, at least three. It was like Maybe. okay. Yeah. I've been like, peeped that shit. I was like, bro, y'all don't hear this motherfucker <laughs> over here? And bro, his little brother is the same fucking way. I swear I to God, they come well. from this, I, <laughs> I swear to God, they come from the same cloth. <laughs> Khalil would come in here and be like, damn, shit. <laughs> and like somebody be like, <laughs> Devin, Devin or Denzel be talking about PC parties. Like, damn, you got that shit and you still not fucking streaming nothing? Old ass fucking dry ass, crusty ass stream. Damn, shit. And they be like, Khalil. And I got to get on his shit. I'm like, yeah, it's oh. like, damn, bitch, you didn't even say hi. Are you roasting this man's stream and his content? And he <laughs> just jumps it. I, I, you know, that's the shooter for real. He thought, I'm not, Terrell, I'm not the shooter. Terrell be like this. This is we get on his ass. Terrell be like this. Got you. Hold on. What's up, buddy? I got you. What's up, buddy? I got you. Yeah, yep, hey, man. Like, yeah, nah, let great. me get his I ass. Got, I gotta protect the shooter, man. <laughs> nah, nah, let me get his ass. Yeah, let the dog off the leash. He bites you, and now you want to hold the dog back. Protect me from him. Nah, nigga. Hey, nah, man. none of that. That's little bro, man. We gotta get him back on the podcast one of these days. Yeah, actually, I haven't man, seen him in a couple of days. Him, that's crazy. I actually haven't seen him in a couple of days. We're gonna have we're gonna have some bonding time tomorrow. Uh, what else can we ask for Brizio from that perspective? So do you like do you like the new content that's going up versus how it used to be where it was just podcast shit? Like now we have different shit like the tier list. Like actually a more specific question, what is your favorite uh type of video? Cuz now we have different types of videos. We have the late night shenanigans, we have the tier list, we have the gaming shit. 
And then we have the podcast episodes, of course. Podcast. Started first watching the podcast. And then it's seen for, from there. But I've been watching. And like, I, honestly, like, my Netflix don't work. So when I get my food and I'm like, okay, I'm hungry. What can I watch? Refresh YouTube. Boom. Mug Ben. I'm like, Gale. I watch. I see y'all talking. I'm like, baby, I'll be watching this. Or I'll be watching the game. Or I'll be watching the shorts. And I'm like, all right, okay, okay. I'll be whatever, to be honest. But me, lately, late night shenanigans. That should be funny as hell. That should be man, funny as hell. man asked for a part four. A part four don't even exist. Part four hasn't even happened yet. Y'all might Tur- wait a while Tur- for part Tur- four. Tur- nah, Terrell could, Terrell could create that anytime. He knows exactly what to say. Yeah. To yeah, I, I do. I can spark it. it I, I, I got to wait. Those clips. Yeah. I, gotta, I gotta wait a little Terrell, bit. Let it, be... let, shit, let shit boil. And then it's gonna be 11 just, p.m. Know, Terrell's is gonna join. He gonna look like Denzel. What's crashing? Yeah, how, how's Go both the GPUs doing? <laughs> no, I, I know another one that's gonna be really controversial. It's gonna be on the edge. It's when that man Devin come back. Oh, yeah. oh my god! Well, I, I don't know what my, I don't know what mind space he gonna be in, but he gotta get it. I'm not gonna hold you. But the thing lie. is, we can't we can't do the like the two v one shit because because Devin, you know what I'm saying? He sometimes he be ready to fight. So yeah. <laughs> ready to fight with his words. So it's just like then we just roasting. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta kinda take it easy on him. You gotta kinda ease into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't really just get to roasting him and like trying him friendly like that. Cause he'll be like, nah, bro, this shit weak. Like the fuck? Like, like you can't really mm-hmm. face me. Like, the only only this man, this man Denzel can phase me with some shit. He knows what to say. Like, hey. none of y'all can phase me. Y'all shit is weak. It's like, bro, it's not we not hey but, hold on. Y'all, y'all super fans of the podcast, man. Look. If y'all can find that comment section, I'm gonna just call it that. There's a comment section where me and Devin were going at it. If y'all can find that, hey, screenshot that. Let let me know. Maybe we get something. Maybe we get something for you. But if y'all can find that shit, oh shit, because that shit was funny as hell. I was like, boy, I was like, he picked the right day. He picked the right fucking day. He should just shut, shut that shit up. Cause now I'm about to cook for real. Jesus I ain't gonna Christ. lie. I kind of I kind of did it to real that episode too. Cause I was like. <laughs> I was like that. If you know, you know. But um, if you I, know, you motherfucking know, bro. Uh, <laughs> but it, was, it, was, it was like it was right there. It was like it was just screaming, like cooking. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. We gotta have we gotta have a, a a time when um we gotta have a time where it's like we do that the same shit, but it's like to other people, like in the games that we be playing. Oh, yeah. Overwatch is easy. Them. They be trying Terrell. Like, they always go for Terrell bro. for whatever reason. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, <laughs> what the fuck? I, I'm not even saying nothing. I'm just killing people. They're like, focus the streamer. I'm like, bro, get off my dick. I'm about to take <laughs> TTV out my fucking name for real. <laughs> for Overwatch. Yeah, for Overwatch, it's kind of ass. I'm not going to hold you. Like, they be like, getting, fucking what? I don't know. They really just be ready to talk some shit in Overwatch or like, it be your own teammates too. It's like, bro, <laughs> shut the yeah. fuck up, bro. TTVs. <laughs> Like, yeah, get your, get your so here we up. go. Like, I love the dick like, I feel like, I ain't gonna lie to you, I feel like they still gonna be on Terrell neck, though. Even if he changes just whatever he wants. Look like, at the he's bashing. gonna see a bashing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. gonna be on his neck. Like, hey, it's a, it's hey, like, I just attract that energy, and then when I reciprocate it, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'm getting reported. I'm getting fucking doxxed. Yeah. Oh, man, fuck you, bitch. I'll literally be playing like shit as a healer, and they'll be like, it's bashing trash. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, I had that shit happen the other day, bro. Like, this kid got on the mic saying some weird ass, like, wild ass shit. And I was like, bro, like, look at this dude. Like, he just wants attention. And then, of course, he's playing a fucking bashing. No offense to you. He's playing a fucking <laughs> bashing, sitting way in the fucking back, not doing anything. And then he was like, he was like, oh, you're like 0 and 3. Like, that's how the dude talks. He's like, you're 0 and 3. And I was like, I have more damage than you. He's like, yeah, but you're 0 and 3, dude. Like, why are you talking so much shit about me? And it's like, bro, you've been talking shit this whole time until I started acknowledging you. He was like, he was like, he was saying, fuck me on the mic just over and over until somebody said something. And then, like, I was talking. And then he was like, um, what did he say? He was like, oh, could you, could you do me a favor and, like, talk any louder and smash on your keyboard any louder as you're playing the game and i was just like bro like why does this dude want so much fucking attention so bad like just shut the fuck up like get off my dick 
for real. Then yeah. I started cooking him, right? I started, you know how I get when I start cooking. Like when I when I'm really focused and I be cooking shit, I be talking fast. <laughs> the jokes just become they're like rapid fire, right? So he was like, Why are you talking so fast, dude? Are you hurt, dude? Are you hurt? Are you hurt? And I was like, Yep. I love when I be hitting motherfuckers with rib shots and liver shots and they don't know what the fuck to say, getting hit with hooks, just repeating themselves, sounding like broken ass fucking records from 1940. I was like, damn, you sound stupid as shit right now. You gonna keep repeating yourself? Let me hear you repeat yourself yourself three more times. And he kept saying the same shit and I was like, exactly. And then he got quiet and I was like, that's crazy because you fucking started this shit and I got the fucking last word like I always do, like I said. Then he wanted to come back in here and start talking. It's like, no, shut that shit up, man. Uh, like, you always start... People always be starting shit with me when I really just be trying to give them advice or tell them who to target or just be like, can I get healed a little bit more, please? They'll talk some shit. Stop dying so much. Are you healing me? How am I going to stop doing damage? How am I going to stop fighting? Dumbass. Yeah. Like, make it make sense. Make it make sense, bro. And then they just be like, yeah, but this and that. The TTV shit. This and that. Like... Here I go. Now I got to cook again. I go ahead and hit that P key. I literally take my finger, smash that P, go in the team <laughs> chat. You know what I'm saying? Oh, when that man Ron hit the enter key, that should be so funny because I know you be hitting that shit. <laughs> With the utmost P force. Stroke. I be. Damn. <laughs> that video, figure. he be like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. I don't even I don't even be thinking. Like As soon as, as, soon as it's the last three seconds and we won when somebody's talking shit, I, I, I literally hit that shit with my palm down there. Blank. I start start <laughs> typing, start typing. Damn, that's crazy. Start typing. Shit, you quiet now. Where you at? Typing again. Damn, where you at? I still don't see no messages. Damn. Then I don't see nothing from them. Tell you I hear their whole. That's another enter. <laughs> <laughs> their whole team saying GG. Nothing from them. I'll be like, all right, bro. I, I got this. I won that. I got that dub. It is what it is. Yeah, bro. Hey, yeah. man. I mean, I have nothing else. I mean, we we're gonna we're gonna bring back the what would you do's. I just need to gather some new ones. You know what I'm saying? Maybe mm -hmm. some different ones that aren't related to relationships. But those will come back probably next week. Probably next week. Give me a week to to you know gather some. I have one. Should I ask it now or should we save it? Um, I asked you, I asked you for Brazil already. Actually, no, fuck it. We here. Fuck it. Might as well, right? My 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 response changed. Okay. So I, I asked this to Fabrizio and people at work. I was like, look, what would you do, right? You want to date with your girl. You get up to go to the bathroom, right? Mm -hmm. And you come back and you see this like Rico Suave glistening motherfucker just at the table just talking to your girl. Like you don't know what they're, what they're saying. You just see this man here. He doesn't work for the restaurants. It's a random. What, what do you do in that situation? Like how do you approach the table? Do you say anything? Like what would you do? Oh, I know what I would do. So, first of all, is he sitting in my chair or is he nah, just like he's, stand, he's standing at the table? He's standing at the table talking uh, to your girl who's still sitting down. Yeah, first of all, I walk up on him and be like, you know, like, you know, I assume y'all having an interesting conversation. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, you know, at this point, he's going to look at me. I'm going to kind of chuckle. I'm going to look at him, size him a little bit, look at her, and then be like, and who are you? And I'll shake his hand. You know what I'm saying? I'll shake his hand if, he, if he, he's going to tell me. And then if, if he's like confused, it's like, oh, you're on a date, he'll leave. If not, he's going to engage in the conversation with me. And then I'm going to respectfully tell him, like, like, this is my girl. Like, you need to take a hike. Respectfully, I'm going to tell him that. And no reason to show no aggression unless he's being, like, disrespectful. If yeah. he says, like, oh, let's let her choose or some shit like that, then I'll kindly just, you know what I'm saying, just push him away. And be like, all right, I'm going to need you to back away from the table. And if he tries to grab me back, I'm swinging on him simple like, as soon as he as soon as he goes to grab like my shoulder or my arm as soon as he touches that shit i'm grabbing his hand and i'm hitting him right in his throat so actually no i'm not doing that i'm not doing gonna that. ruin the whole date drinks gonna be flying everywhere platters like all types Probably of gonna shit leave this man hand like this for real oh, <laughs> fucking day. really just i'm just gonna shake his shit like it's gonna be like one of those dominant handshakes you know what i'm talking about like that dude that uh security guard from southland Rip. Motherfucker yeah. would shake your hand and then oh grab your forearm. Oh my god! Oh my! I you talking about? It. Oh my! I forgot his name. The, the yeah. head security guy. You used to wear that tight ass polo. I love you. I, I, fu I fucked with him. He was cool, bro. He was yeah, cool. he a cool dude. But I hated the way he shook hands. Like I remember bro, you relax. saying that too. I remember you saying that. Yeah, it's not I a fucking power hands. trip. <laughs> he'll he'll grab you, he'll grab name. your hand and then he'll grab like so like say this is your arm. He'll grab this part or like yeah. just hold it. He'll be like shake your hand like that. Why are you grabbing like three fourths of my fucking arm nah, to he, shake it? He was 
brolic as hell. I ain't gonna hold yeah. you. He was yeah, that was, was a, a big dude. That dude was actually yeah. brolic. Yeah. That was a big <laughs> bulky burly bitch. Yeah, he had that, that granddad strength. For real. Facts. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, because he had the belly too. Belly too. He was he had like a strong man build. For real. For real. But um, I think I think the way I approached the table is like I would just come up and be like, all right, cool. Like, excuse me, bro. Like, I would put my hand on his shoulder, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, grab his shoulder, like, excuse me, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's my seat. You know what I'm saying? We on a date here, you know, back your ass up type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the 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 the, war, the wrong thing you do is get mad at your girl in this situation because she ain't doing nothing wrong but just sitting there. This random ass fucking glistening one DC Mo back ass motherfucker and walked up to the table. Don't get mad at your girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers be really getting mad at their girl when a guy comes up and approach them. Like, she looks single. Like, look at the fucking table. You, your ass walked out or walked up. There are two plates there. You know what I'm saying? But he don't give a fuck. He see a girl by him by herself. So you know, that's how I approach it. Be like, you know what I'm saying? I'm here. We on a date. And then if he escalates, then we escalate. We match energies. You know what I'm saying? We get tossed out of the Olive Garden or the the fucking whatever wherever we're at the long horn the steakhouse all that shit we get kicked it's out of that cake. bitch yep had to drag me out that bitch yeah you see you see what's on my arm though you feel what i'm saying <laughs> you should have you should have pulled one of those well i'm gonna keep repeating it i'm gonna repeat it every time but it's all good go ahead denzel what would you what would you, what do, would you do denzel um i just let him know like uh excuse me sir that's my girl it's my table, and make sure he leaves. I mean, that's the context. If I was there with her and I walked away and that happened, you know, ain't no, ain't no reason to be get violent, you know what I'm saying? But if he on that, you know, if that nigga built like Rod, then I guess I had to get my ass beat then. But if he's on that, though, <laughs> if he's on that, like, that's the thing I noticed. Like, if he can fight, if he can fight. If he can fight, yeah. But if, if anything, you grab the if plate. He, if you put me on Grab the ground, the it's over though. Even if you can't fight, that's the only thing. If you're on the ground as a skinny dude, but I do bigger than you, it's over. Even if the nigga cannot f- swing for shit, you still lost because yeah, you're not yeah, gonna get him off that, you. That's yeah. where you start. That's where you start resorting to your environment. You get that fucking plate. What we talked about? Uh, <laughs> yeah. If burgers are good, get that Angus that plate that had that Angus burger and just smack him with that shit. Yeah, like usually shit. a guy that would do some shit like that would be like a big ass marvelous Mike shaped ass dude. <laughs> <laughs> and that nigga be like, chill, bro. Calm down. Calm down. It's easy to do that. Calm down. I'm like, nigga, you need to calm down. And most he, people, he look, most he'll let me people, up. The, he'll look yeah. me up and down. Like, he can take me. I'll be like, you probably can. But I'm going to sock the fuck out your ass before you hit me. So, <laughs> yeah. you ain't going to come out unscathed. I'm going to get my like, lick in. I'm going <laughs> to get real. my lick in. For I'm real. Gonna hit that glass jaw. Like, I'm going to get my shit Yeah, now nah, you're right. Most <laughs> people, especially like bigger dudes, like the ones that just like work out or like just be in the gym. You know what I'm saying? It's just like word by side. They'll grab you. They won't, they won't try to swing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nobody wants to really like go toe to toe and throw jabs and hooks and nobody really knows how to do that shit or has stamina for it. Like bodybuilders probably like are really healthy. Like they probably like got, you know, muscles and shit. They don't have a lot of fat, but they don't, they're still like big and they still need to know how to move with their weight. So they probably don't have that stamina. Yeah. So if he don't know how to throw no punches, then he's not going to hit you. He's probably going to get up close and try to grab you and then like probably, probably get you to the ground or like Damn restrain you, you and then the hit you. That's how yeah. most people fight. They're gonna restrain you or like they grab you. They want to get close to you, but like, nah, like you just you just keep his ass away. That's why I was like, yeah, like if he says some slick shit or disrespectful shit, then you gotta kind of like just you know what I'm saying, like, all right, bro, relax. Kind of just like move him out the way. Yeah. Go on about your business. That. Get your ass back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, it's, it's that it's that finger on the sternum, kind of like like you put your, your thumb right there and then kind of the rest of it on the small of the chest and just Push him out the way. Like, all right, bro. Chill out. Oh, Fuck out my shit. face. What yeah. you doing, Fabrizio, since you changed your, your answer? I was really thinking about it. And I talked to my girl about this, too. Right? Like, let's up. You feel me? And he's like a little, like... Because in my brain, when you said that question, I thought of a little Dominican dude. First... Dude. Like, stay now, shirt open, you know? So I walk up with the, you know, hat, hat on his chest. Hey, yo, yo, what's, what's good with you, you know? He's like, que lo que, you know? Hit him with the Spanish. <laughs> que lo que. <laughs> and be like, I'm talking to her? He's like, oh, oh, nah, nah. I'd be like, yeah, nah, nah. How about you 
walk over there, you feel me? And if he gets violent with me, you know. Man, catching a body in the, the outback. <laughs> yeah, turn that man to a chalk outline. Okay, though, you <laughs> so know? This fofo gonna make sure all your kids don't grow. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> hey, but if she's a W, she'll probably tell him to get away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but the fellas, the wrong thing you do there is get mad at your girl, even after the fact. Like, yeah, you know, nah, you know what the saying? real thing, the real thing, it's a nah. Not, let me not be petty. I'm nah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go real ahead, go thing, ahead. uh, let us see, see what she do. You talking? See what she do. Just see what she do. Mm-hmm. Just this to be man, sure, this is, this is this is a quick little test. But let's see what she do. Like, you see, is she gonna fellas, turn him away? Uh, is she gonna turn him away? If she don't, then, uh, then you know. But if she man, do, we'll, like, okay, I'm something. here. I'm here. I'm here. But I mean, that's then, an opportunity. Then, you looking at it as an L, that's an opportunity. I mean, you could. But then if it was the other way around, you would have been like, man, why the fuck is this girl so pressed? Why is she so insecure? Why the fuck was she watching? No, nah, I'd be like, I get it. You don't trust I, me? No, I get it. No, I would be like, I get it. But I mean, there's no, there's no way there's going to be a girl that's going to sit at your fucking table while you're on a date with nobody there talking about something. So what you doing here? Hey. You know, eating food alone. That's not going to fucking happen. Hey, yeah, women, like, women, are women, yeah, women are getting it's, bold. Women are getting bold. Women are getting bold. Yeah, yeah, the one out of a thousand, yeah, for sure. But I'm not inviting, hey. so it's not happening to me. Yeah, <laughs> facts. I'm gonna be looking like I got somewhere yeah, to be either. anyway. So they know that they don't come over there. But if that do happen and shit, like send her off. Like I'm not here to see you. I don't even know you. Like I ain't trying to get to know you. I gotta go through all that shit. That's why it's easier for us because it's like I gotta go through all, all these hoops and loops to get mm-hmm. to know. Yeah, for for y'all, like ah. Uh, you good? Yeah. Hey, look, I'm out of here. I'm waiting on someone. I got. I put in too much work. Like Ross, I put in too much fucking work. Yeah, to build <laughs> this, bro. It's like the, that's like the only way I could cheat. That's why I always say like the only way I could cheat is literally if it's first of all I'm getting paid to do it. So it's like like uh some some bitch looking for a sugar baby and she's like okay you know what I'm saying I'll get you dinner. I got this hotel room. Just meet me in this hotel and then like I walk in that bitch and she gotta be like in position. That's the only way because I'm not putting. Any, I, I'm telling you, I am not putting any kind of fucking effort or work into getting to know any bitch going on a date, we're state women, we're setting state women. up, Go ahead. fuck that, setting up any kind of date on somebody nah, that's trying that. to t- trying to wreck a home. Like, no, I'm not putting any of that. Fuck. I put in too much time, work, fucking money, emotion, patience, all that shit into a relationship. I'm not, I'm not just going to cheat just because like. The opportunity might be there. Like, no, fuck that. That is yeah. dead. It has to be. It like it has to be like a, a fucking a naked bitch walk up and she look like uh well, well who who y'all love fucking Hall uh Halle Be- uh Barry fucking um who y'all who y'all I'm trying to think Megan the Stallion y'all be going stupid for Beyonce and Rihanna like it gotta it gotta be one of those and she has to walk up and it like be naked and glistening and says slide that shit in right now otherwise that shit is not fucking happening slide bro. Right it's, 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 it's not like there, hey. there's no there's no way hey fellas and, look man in, in any situation where you you know what I'm saying a guy's trying to get at your girl just remember bro you got a girl and this goofy ass motherfucker doesn't so you know what I'm saying just keep it like that don't get pressed but um true hey man hey man what is that we wrapping it here should we wrap it here oh i fucking stopped my shit by mistake god damn you all right it. um denzel got it man all right but hey man denzel. this has been episode oh go ahead you got a question for him no i said winzel oh Wenzel. <laughs> yeah winzel winzel for sure you made shit a lot easier for us a lot quicker thanks um so yeah, that's been episode fifty-eight, man. I hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all made it to the end, we appreciate y'all. Uh, thank you for the support. Check out the YouTube. Check out the TikTok. Check out the sounds. Uh, a lot of content going up on YouTube. Make yeah. sure to share it, like, comment, subscribe. It's been episode fifty-eight. It's been your guys, Denzel, Terrell, and my boy Breezy, and we out. <laughs> Peace. Man, flexing the chain. <laughs> <laughs>